Hello everyone, we appreciate you tuning in. Today we have a highly requested video for you. That's right, requested by our wonderful subscribers and viewers. Hey, if you're new here, welcome. We are full-time RVers and our channel is about RVing and motorcycling. So if that's something you might be interested in, consider subscribing. We'd love to have you along for the ride. Yeah. A few videos back, we shared with you guys that we were towing a 24-foot trailer behind our Tiffin Motor Home to transport our car as well as the motorcycle. And after that video, we received many requests to show how practical or not mm -hmm. it was to negotiate such a long rig in and around RV parks, keeping in mind our total length is 70 feet. Yeah, yeah. And we know there are many RVers out there who are thinking about towing a trailer with their motor home, but just not sure if it would work for them. Uh, I too was one of those people, yep. and I was very hesitant to purchase a trailer and tow a trailer our size. Concerns with finding an RV park and how to manage such a big rig once inside of an RV park. Mm -hmm. Hey, let us know in the comments down below what you tow, if anything, behind your motor home. It'd be great to hear from you. We hope that this video will provide some idea of what it looks like rolling with yeah. a 70-foot setup. And oh, you will see another Tiffin motorhome towing a trailer that belongs to Andy and Belle of Belle's Ride. Their rig is also 70 feet long. Yeah. Let's get to the video. Our first clip is when we were departing Sky Valley RV Park, located in Lodi, California. And that is Andy and Belle's Tiffin, as mentioned earlier. As we depart nice and slow, with almost 25 yards of RV and trailer, we exit the RV pad to the right. And that's followed by an immediate left turn. And again, we don't get in a hurry. Remember, we're pushing some 25 tons. This particular park had roadways as wide as some small airport runways. But trust me, we rarely see parks like this. Now another turn to the left. And as you can see, no issues. Rolling through the park, we make our way to the exit. Now to the next destination, with a quarter of a football field behind us as the 450 horsepower Cummins engine earns its money. We arrive at the KOA in Astoria, Oregon. And after a quick check-in, we travel to our designated RV sites which will also accommodate the large rigs. And as you can tell, no small runways here, but still no problems for the mammoth 70 foot, 50,000 pounds of full-time RV life.
to give you some indication of the tracking characteristics of the trailers we pull. And these two tracks are from Andy and Bell's motor home. And this outside single track belongs to their trailer. So as you can see, these trailers track pretty well, all things considered. And here you can see Andy pulling into their RV site without any issues as I continue my wide swing and take advantage of the Power Glide chassis 60 degree wheel cut, which helps me facilitate a tighter turn radius. As I begin to pull into my RV site, I felt I could have set up a little wider to the right using this open space that was available to me, giving me more room to make my left turn into the site. Because as you can see, here, I think I'm a little too close to the grass with the motor home. Had my setup been better, I could have kept the trailer tires off the grass. No big deal on this type of site because there's no environmental designs or obstructions to worry about, but I'm always looking for ways to improve. As we departed the KOA, once again, my setup was a little off. However, this time it was intentional. Due to all the rain we'd had, I was trying to avoid rolling the RV through the mud that was in front of me across the street. So I opted for the trailer tires to do the mud bogging. And now a big sweeping turn to the right. And now down the rain field, muddy straightaway. And now up through the narrow straightaway. Followed by the last right turn that takes us to the exit. We hope the video has given some idea of what it's like traveling with a large setup and we hope it shows that it can be done without issues. Yeah. And of course, that said, there are certain places that we would never mm -hmm. attempt to take our rig. So good common sense does apply That's here. That's right. Very true. Hey, join us for next week's video where things get even tighter when towing 70 feet of fun as we visit a charming RV park. But we have to unhook the trailer. So to see more RV content, click the video on the screen. See you there. Until then, be, be well, well and stay, stay safe. safe.